I'm going to demonstrate palpation of the extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis, uh, the muscles proximally and the tendons distally. So uh, these muscles will uh, participate in wrist extension and radial deviation. The attachment for the extensor carpi radialis longus is the lateral supracondylar ridge of the distal part of the humerus. It inserts into the posterior aspect of the base of the second metacarpal. The extensor carpi radialis brevis inserts into the lateral epicondyle of the humerus via the common extensor tendon and then inserts into the uh, posterior aspect of the base of the third uh, metacarpal. And so both of these muscles will participate in wrist extension and radial deviation. So they're going to lie in this area of the forearm. So with the client seated, elbow flexed 90 degrees and in the neutral position, we're going to palpate the muscles proximally. So if we locate the brachial radialis muscle, if you want to be sure of that, you can have them just do elbow flexion. Go ahead, do that. And then you can palpate the brachial radialis. From there, just move slightly laterally, I'm sorry, move slightly medially along the posterior surface of the forearm. And that's where you'll be able to palpate both of those muscles. So you're going to grasp the client's hand and ask them to do wrist extension and radial deviation to palpate that. Okay. Then from there, we're going to palpate the tendons. Now the tendons are side by side distally. <clears throat> and what they do is they'll pass uh, deep to the extensor pollicis longus tendon. So as that tendon crosses, um, the extensor pollicis, sorry, the extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis will run just deep to the extensor pollicis longus tendon. So with the same position, seated elbow flex 90 degrees, we can go ahead and locate the uh, posterior aspect of the distal part of the radius. And if you move just slightly distal into the crease of the wrist in line with the second, the base of the second metacarpal, that's where the uh, extensor carpi radialis longus will attach. And the base of the third is where the um, extensor carpi radialis brevis attaches. So with that position palpating right and that crease in line with those two um, bones, all you have to do is have that person do wrist extension and radial deviation. Just make sure that the fingers are slightly relaxed so that it takes out some of the extensive digitorum muscle. Okay? And that's where we'll be able to palpate right there.